All right, we are back at it. Got some food. I took like a good, like an hour and a half break. Not gonna lie, but we are here in Floroma Town. So let's go ahead and explore here. I know we get some berries and such. Yep, honey. Yep, honey, honey, honey. The the hunts are gonna be not so funny. <laughs> Okay. Right. Do I need to go in here for anything? Let me, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anything new I can buy here? Hello! Ooh! Netball. Nice. Um, I don't think I need netballs for anything, but it's so cool that you get that this early. Um, let's see. I don't need it. I don't have any bugger water types that I need, so I think honestly what I'll do is I'll sell my potions along with my stardust. So then that way. I can get some super potions. Just so I can guarantee that we are actually gonna be able to heal up. Uh, let's get. 15. I feel like I'm actually going to be able to use these now. Um, outside of that... All the feelings. Let's get five. Let's see. We'll get four here since I already have one. We'll get three here. The antidotes are like the most important things in my opinion. So once we, we, we become a seal type, of course that's not going to matter. Um, speaking of which, I did not update you so let's ah that's what happens when you take a break you're just a terrible terrible pokemon player a content creator can i print pop like yeah cool we'll update this change the size here and for the question of the day i actually have it in mind i had it set in stone even before i went on break so um, Bang. yep, so because our print plop is now evolved. What is your favorite middle evolution? Because there's so many incredible middle evolutions, in my opinion, uh, that honestly just do not get any type of love. No love whatsoever. And I honestly don't like that. I feel like some of these are almost as cool as the original evolution, if not the base evolution. Um, so, I mean, if we're going, you know, bit by bit, I mean, Bayleaf was amazing. I freaking loved Quilava. Um, Gen 1, I mean, they're classic. I think I would prefer War Turtle over any of them. Uh, Gen 3, let's... Grovile was legit. I mean, Grovile from the anime was, like, like Ash's go-to was so much. Uh, let's see. Gen 4 here. I mean, I gotta give it to Grottle in Monferno. Uh, Monferno definitely, I think, had the best look out of all of them. Ooh, Team 88. What is this? Pluck, huh? Nice! P Print Pluck, I am not the biggest fan of, unfortunately. Um, that's right, hello. We're going to put that question of the day on hold. I have played Let's Go before. And there it is. I didn't think we would get it this early. Oh my gosh. I, okay, so like, yeah, we get Mew and Jirachi if we play the uh, Let's Go and Sword and Shield, but uh, I don't have a nickname from you. Wow. And then do you just give me Jirachi? What? They literally give you two mythicals next to each other. Wow. Like, these guys aren't, um, unfortunately, they are shiny locked, so you can't get them shiny. Which is very, very unfortunate. I would have loved to have shiny uh, soft reset for these, but I'm so old school I go to the PC, guys. 
Um, but wow, look at these guys. Level 1 and level 5. That is absolutely crazy. An adamant nature and a serious nature. I think serious is neutral? Yeah. That is very, very cool. It reflect type. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, deposit all these into the box because they are not needed right now. They are not a part of the team. But how cool is that that uh, they included such a unique way uh, to get to these uh, mythicals now? I know Shaman is a... Uh, Shaman with the Grisadia Flower. I know that's going to be a like, potential DLC in the future and stuff. It, is, it has been found in the game, thankfully. So... I'm so happy for that. Honestly, I think it's super cool. I can't wait to... I From what I hear, Shaman is shiny huntable alongside Darkrai. So, like, I feel like everyone's going to be doing that hunt as soon as the games come out. I mean, as soon as the event comes out. So, I'm so happy for that because Shaman is literally one of my favorite Pokemon. It, like, you can even see... Where is he? My, my Shaman plush right above my head right here. Uh, and I have an awesome story behind it. I've used Shaman competitively. It was a part of my winning squad, uh, season two of LDL. So we're at Route 205 now. We've got some Chesto Berries. We're gonna definitely need to grow more of those because Chesto Berries are what we'll need for, I think, um, Poffins to evolve Feebas, or maybe that's Gen 3 mechanics. I can't remember. I think it's both, though. But we'll go ahead and we'll quickly, uh, plant these. We plant them. And it is Friday still that we are playing this. So because of that... Ooh, it waters both of them! That's awesome. That was a very long animation for that. <laughs> so this little girl will let us know that... Valley Windworks is in distress. We can't go up to Route 205 yet, but we can go to Valley Windworks. Pro probably one of my favorite places to be here in the entire Sinnoh region, only because of everything that happens. I mean, you got the Honey Tree, you got the Drift Loon, you got literally one of the hardest battles in any Nuzlocke, in my opinion, with this uh, Perugly. But the big thing I can't wait to get into this in the future, it might change depending on like underground stuff, but uh, do I get lucky on the first one? You got Shellos, you got Bweezel, uh, but the big thing here is there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a 10% encounter for uh, Pachirisu, uh, in which we, were, we, we will definitely be shiny hunting that on our uh, shiny dream team, which I will be recording later on tonight, so I'm very, very excited, super excited for everything, like you guys have no idea. And like, while I love the pink Gastrodon and pink Shellos, blue Shellos is just, that's life. That is literally like everything that you want in a Pokemon. Come on, battle me. Come at me, a G. A little, a little, uh, cutesy little, uh, Whatchamacallit? Glee Meow. That's a water gun. Let's see what happens. It is faster than me. Um, Crimple up. Let's get back to middle evolution. So let's go Let's, let's go through him. So I said on for an own Grottle. Turtles 100% of the way is forever my favorite. Um, Generation 5? Pignite and Duot. Pignite and Duot are like legendary stats. I love a little chunky... Uh, a little chunky pig like that, and then Duat's design was just so pristine that I'm still very, very bummed and hopeful when Legends Arceus comes out that they rectify that mistake by making a making it a quadruped, and it's like a, a two a two a bipedal uh, samurai of some kind. I oh, I would love that. I would love to see that. Um, middle evolutions for Generation Six. Let's see. Kooladin. Pull it in all the way. I was Team Froki day one, like the second it was announced, and everyone was like, "Oh, Team Finnegan, Team Finnegan!" <laughs> but no, Quilladin was the uh, was the underdog. He was the big old chunky, chunky boy. Which a lot of people like hated that. Like they hate those designs, like Primplup and Quilladin, where they just like they're round. It's like no, those are adorable. They're they make the perfect plush for anything that you want to do. So 
Uh, we're just jumping right into the battles here. I'm just trying to keep conversation going as we do go along. But uh, Generation 7 now? Yeah, Generation 7. Dartrix was really cool. I loved uh, I loved that whole line. But uh, Toracat was where it was at. Toracat is where it's at. It was su it's such a fun design. Like I said, one that one little quadruped to a uh, bipedal evolution. And Cinnor is up there with Arcanine, tied with my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, but something about Toracat. It was just such a solid design that it could have literally been a standalone Pokemon. It could have literally been a standalone Pokemon by itself, and I would have had no problem with that. And the fact that it's also base 90 speed was very, very shocking. Like, Torcat is a very low tier uh, fire type to get whenever you do draft leagues, and I've wanted to use it a couple times because it has things like Fake Out, U Turn, you get access to Intimidate and stuff like that. So, uh, you can't sleep on Torcat. You really can't. It can still set up, surprisingly. Uh, yeah. And then for the newest generation, I'm thinking, I mean, you got Drizzle, you got, uh, what, what was it, Grookey into something, into Rillaboom, which was, <sighs> I can't remember, I can't remember its name, but I'm not gonna look it up. Um, I liked all of them. I think that their little fun aesthetic designs were cool. Uh, if I had to give it to one, I might give it to Raboot, just because he was edgy. He was just like that super edgy little teenager, which was really fun. But, um, hopefully these Galactic uh, Grunts, you know, they're, they're in and out of the way. And I'm interested to figure out how the, uh, Honey Tree mechanics work now. I, I've looked into, like, what's where and, like, the rarity of the trees. And how Snorlax or Munchlax is like literally its own freaking tree, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, very rare honey trees. There's honey tree. There's r trees, rare trees, and very rare trees. And trees that don't give you anything, apparently. Uh, but the very rare trees 100% spawn Munchlax, which I think is super, super cool. Uh, to get, honestly, because by guaranteeing it's a super rare tree, you guarantee that shiny hunt. Which would, which, which at that point, it's just, you have to find the tree, set honey on it, and you just soft reset until you get it shiny, if I'm not mistaken. So, I love that. Absolutely love that. So, um, okay, so Valley One Works, we're gonna about to head back into... I think I have a decent plan and strategy for this. Um, we're doing something that I never do. I would love to take your honey. Uh, we're gonna use X items. <laughs> uh, X items is more and more becoming like a necessity in playthroughs as well as Nuzlocks. Look how gorgeous. Look how gorgeous this is. I would love to bring Shaman here and have it follow me. Which I'm, I'm still trying to figure out. I don't know how, where I, why it's not following, why I have no Pokemon following me. So... Gets my hopes up because there's a chance it's a rare Pokemon. Pokemon, smiling faces together. The flowers that grow in the fields are special. You can thank Pokemon for that. Awesome. So let's slab this. Let's see what happens. The bark was slathered with honey. So do we have to wait? Is this exactly like how it was in uh, OG Diamond and Pearl? Hold on now. Uh, a new element in the game is the ability to check your honey trees with the town map. Here you can toggle the map to show berry trees, empty honey trees, honey trees which have had honey put on them, and honey trees that have an encounter waiting for you to spark, ha having a sparkle. This allows you to more easily check on which trees have encounters waiting for you. So you do have to wait the six hours. Oh my god, they really did not change that mechanic. I'm quite shocked, honestly, and I'm willing to bet that if you uh, try to change your your uh, your settings, that it'll just lock you out. I'm willing to bet that's how it'll, it'll go. So that is very interesting. We're going to have to come back here a lot later on tonight then to see. Yeah, about, wow, that's, that's gnarly. That's so gnarly. 
Of all things to change, I thought that they would have updated Honey Trees. Oh my gosh, that, that means that, oh. My shiny dream team is gonna take freaking forever. Unless I can get a rare tree, it makes it a little bit easier for the combi. Because that jumps it up to a 40% and then A-bomb's still a 10%. So, I mean, you win some, you lose some, not gonna lie. But that's really cool. Actually, let's uh, slide you with Happy too. Oh, I only got one? Never mind. How fun. Yep, let's use the work ski. I scoot in a little. Oop. Knocked my freaking desk. Okay, let's go in. What? No way! You have the key! Lock of the door was meaningless! I am the loser in this after all! There is no time to pit for self-pity! I've got to alert the commander! We'll go this way. Quit fooling around! You got Quit fooling around! <laughs> A cascoon! My guy! Okay. Look at this chunky boy. But yeah, the plan for this Perugly is it's gonna go for fake out turn one, so we know we're not gonna be able to get a turn in. So I might as well prioritize on that and use this X defense to boost my defense by two stages, seeing as how Perugly is such a very, very physically attacking uh, Mon. And that plus two defense, I think, will just honestly allow us just to go ahead and get through it without any real issues. Uh, I can't remember where I got that X defense, but I'm happy I picked it up. Was it? It might have been in one of the caves, honestly, thinking about it. Battle anyone and everyone you see, people. Anyone and everyone you see. There's a v there's a versus seeker in here, right? I always just call it the VS. But um, I'm pretty sure there is. Because grinding against uh, grinding in this game, one, no, number one, is going to be completely easy. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But on top of that, being able just to rebattle trainers with uh, guaranteed XP for your whole team. Phenomenal. I, I'll, I'll read Battle Trainers all day. Alright, Blame Meow. Gorgeous little creature. You're gonna... Stop. Stop. That was the cutest animation I've ever seen. Look at that. That little... <laughs> oh, that is adorable. I really like that. What a cute, cute Pokemon. And that's a Pearl exclusive, if I'm not, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. I might want to use that. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's save, just to be safe, y'all. What's up, Mars? I'm one of the... <laughs> the... The pan up <laughs> with her skirt. That was ridiculous. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little sad thing. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. That looks a lot better. Come on, Mars. You still have a Zubat. Okay, so we'll get over the Zubat. Which I think might be level 12. Fourteen! Oh wow, okay. U-turn! What? You got some strats here, my guy? U-turn strats? I was not hey! Damage off on this Perugly is phenomenal, okay? What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Alright, so we know it's gonna fake out, so let's go ahead and pop this, uh, this X defense now. The defense rolls sharply. And it goes for the fake out. Perfect. So it does very, very little damage, which is exactly what we want. 
Um, I feel like I'm good as long as it doesn't crit. I'm actually gonna go for the Metal Claw. See if I can get an attack from here. With the Quick Claw Pop Metal Claw. Do I get the attack? It's got a Citrus Berry? Wow! Orange Berry! Okay. How much does this scratch do? So does six. So that's still a lot. I'm gonna go for another Metal Claw. If I can get a plus... Another Quick Claw. If I can get this plus one, we're gonna be really good, uh... Really good, just because I can swap over to... Still nothing. I can swap over to Peck and this battle goes a lot easier. Uh, one more Metal Claw and I'll heal up after this. No Quick Claw that time. But do I get the boost? Wow! No Metal Claw boost. We'll just heal all the way up here. No, it's great. Let's just continue using metal. That's three Quick Claw Pops. Oh, but... Ooh, it dodged. This thing is very speedy, by the way. This thing rivals... Um... Latios and Latios on speed. This thing is base 110. There it is. That's what I was looking for. And at this point, it doesn't matter. Another scratch. This peck will do the job. Perfect plan. Perfect execution. I just wish Metal Claw uh, with the boosted attack definitely would have uh, popped a little bit earlier. Then I got the Zubat, which still hasn't done anything except u turn. I'm just gonna go for the peg and we should just go go ahead and knock it out. That is a problem. How do you land a 55% accurate move though? That's what I wanna know. Broke it through twice, baby. Do I hear three? Mmm. So we're pulling these strats, huh? Oh! Triton! That's what I'm talking about, my G. Heck yeah. This can't be. I lost you, annoying brat. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right, nerd. Team Galactic. They were saying that they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my little girl again. Papa! Yuck! Papa, you're stinky! Go home and shower now! <laughs> Sorry. They had me working non-stop. What were they having you to work with? Like, seriously. Certain day of the week, which is today, which usually, I don't think it'll spawn today. Uh, if, if we leave because it is Friday already, I think we'll have to wait for next Friday to encounter it. But um, we should be good regardless. Unless it just shows up. Doesn't look like it. But I think it would probably be like right here, honestly. There's Breezel. Good water types here. Good water types. And. Let me clarify this, because I know some people are going to, like, rage at me. Earlier, I said that there weren't a lot of good water types available. And by that, I meant, like, outside of the standard Starter, Empoleon, Gastrodon, and Weasel. Like, there's literally those guys and Luminion, I think. I think those are the only added Sinnoh water types. I mean, there's, Quags there's Quagsire, Wishcash... Uh, Gyarados, of course, that you could use. But, like... Eh. But we're all healed up. We can now go ahead and continue. Make our way up to the Eterna Forest, where we'll finally be able to get, um... Our new, uh, our new team member. You battle, right? Yes, you do! Ponyta. This is an easy battle. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for the next few episodes because 
it's literally just gonna be nothing but us exploring and the underground, getting team members, a couple of them honestly, so if we can figure out how the underground works and stuff, we might even get allocated early. Which I think would be phenomenal. First step in the grass. What do we encounter? Another shellos, okay. But no, I hope you guys are really enjoying this uh, this quick playthrough or like this run through Brilliant Diamond. I'm honestly loving it a lot, I'm not gonna lie. X attack, nice. Um, yeah, coming back to the Sinnoh region after all this time has been absolutely brilliant. I'm loving every second. Hiker Daniel! He's got a Geodude. Alright! Yeah, having these games is so much fun. I can't wait to get Murkrow uh, coming up here in the next little bit. I'm happy that... Oh, it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It just seems so dark already. Um, I might have to wait until uh, it's dark to hunt for Murkrow. I'll have to look that up because I definitely want to get Kanoe on this team. Oh, I hit Water Gun by accident. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter! Triton is here! But, yeah, those double battles are going to be fun. Um, I almost put Murkrow on that uh, on the shiny hunting team instead. Uh, so that way we could double hunt in the grass, which, you know, makes it completely super easy. But, you know, we might revisit it uh, somewhere along the line. And just, you know, shiny hunt just a shiny hunt in between the, the dream team and stuff. Which is something I'm honestly considering. Because, yeah, there's the dream team hunts and everything that we want. But at the same time, there's so many one-time only uh, moments where you can shiny hunt that, uh, like the drift once a week, or the double battles with the turn of force and all that stuff, that you really don't can't pass up those those shiny hunts. So we might honestly like play through the game and while we're building the dream team, do other shiny hunts at the same time. And of course, you know, shiny charm, den encounters and stuff on this on this one. Like it'll definitely be a oh sorry. Ooh, I don't want to put a hole in the wall. It'll definitely be a uh, back and forth between this one and my my shiny dream team playthrough of what we shiny hunt. So I'm very, very excited. What is flowing? Was that just my light? Yeah, it's just my light. Lady Elizabeth. And I'm just waiting for those random, that ran, that one random encounter shiny that we'll get in this playthrough. I'm willing to bet somewhere. This is why we buy the antidotes, folks. I'm willing to bet somewhere along the way, as much as we're gonna play, we are. I'm praying that we run into just one random encounter shiny. I don't care what it is. It could be the barrel. It could be. It could be unknown. I want just a random encounter shiny in this playthrough because. Back in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, when I first got Omega Ruby, I... Ooh, Bubble Beam, yes please. I remember, uh, yes. I remember running through routes, I think it was 104, just just to the right of Respiro City, and I encountered a, shine, a random encounter, uh, shiny, uh, Whizmer, and I loved it. Like, it made me fall in love with uh, x -Bloud all over, uh, for the first time. And just just a, such a fun, unique experience for that is something that I definitely want to carry. I mean, who knows? They might replace someone on this playthrough team, if anything. You never know. You just never know, guys. It sucks that we can't go over to Fuego Ironworks right now, but, you know, we'll get there eventually. You know, we'll get there eventually. Alright, Zack, what do you got here? G-Dude? It's one and done, baby. That's one and done. 